Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poke Game here. Today we are using Magmortar in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU tier. I love this Pokemon a lot. I think the Magmar line is pretty cool in itself. I hope this Pokemon gets a buff eventually. And uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm all the way to 300k. That is my end of this year goal. And I upload a lot of Pokemon videos every single day. So, we got Specs, Magmortar, Overheat, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Focus Blast. Focus Blast, obviously, for Tyranitar and Heatran, Thunderbolt for the Water types. And then Flamethrower and Overheat just kind of nuke things. Like, Special Defensive Gliscor takes like 84 to 99% from Specs Overheat. Just to give you guys an idea of like how much it takes from this Pokemon. Then we have Togekiss. Shout out to RTSK for the team, by the way. It's on my website, Pokemon.com. We got Togekiss, Special Defensive with Thunder Wave, Air Slash, Roost, Flamethrower. Tentacruel for rapid spin support, also faster than um, Breloom, things like that. Uh, we also have Scizor, because it's the best Pokemon in the tier. Defogger for us too. It might uh, end up being Swords Dance. I might even end up making it um, special defensive, depending on how I face off versus Mamoswine, but this is why it's it has this EV spread. Uh, we have Scarf Guard, Chopper Rocks, and then Swords Dance Weavile. So that's the squad. I might even change this to Poison Jab as well, depending on how I feel versus Clefable. That's the squad for today, though. And if you didn't know, I do have some merch available. It's only available until the 9th of this month. After that, it is, uh, yeah. After that, it's done. So if you would like to check it out, feel free to. Now, we're fighting a Tentacruel, which is really unfortunate because otherwise, this is going to be really fun for Magmortar. I love my Weavile in this game, though, and I still love... My Magmortar as well. Uh, kind of debating just knocking off with Tentacruel immediately on both Gliscor, Clefable, and their own. Um, they don't really deal with that too, too well. And I do have uh, Togekiss to deal with this and this and honestly everything on their team. So I kind of want to start off with Tentacruel and just knock off. I think it's going to help Magmortar a lot in this game. Now I won't die to their attack, so we're going to go right for the knockoff. They don't get Poison Heal, which is great. I'll take a lot from Earthquake, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I won't die, which is the important part. So... Uh, that's going to be so good for my Magmortar in this game, for sure. Now, obviously, the Clefable can be annoying, but I might as well Scald, too, because why not get rid of the most annoying Pokemon? Yeah, I have a chance to burn it as well. So, Gliscor is gone. The most annoying Pokemon besides Scizor is gone, so that's awesome. Uh, maybe they'll go out... Watch this thing take 37. Watch this take 37. I do not mind them going Tentacruel, as I have a chance to burn it, too. And it looks like I am faster, so I can get rid of its recovery as well. I only did 13 to each other, so I kind of don't, like, I don't care as much. I have Defog as well, so I don't mind them letting me weaken their uh, their main Fire Answers. I think that honestly ends up helping me in the long run. And we'll make the Garchomp play here. I'll click Stealth Rock just because I don't think they'd knock me out with anything anyway. They end up clicking uh, Scald there, which is a, a wild play, but uh, we'll make the Magmortar play on what I'm expecting to be Gliscor. Because I can obviously click Earthquake now. As they end, uh, end up making the Latios play now. I could see them going for Surf or Thunderbolt. I want to keep my Scizor healthy. I think that Magmortar easily wins this game now that Tentacruel is like that. So we'll make the Toegus play. As they drop a Draco. Awesome for me. And uh, honestly, I don't see a reason not to Air Slash. If they go Tentacruel... I have the ability to uh, the Thunder Wave it, which is cool. Uh, maybe they'll Sludge Bomb here. I'm going to make the, uh, the Garchomp play. If they Rabbit Spin, they'll take a lot from me, and then I can go for Dragon Claw to knock them out. And that also hit Latios upon switching, so go right for the Dragon Claw. I do reveal that I am Choice Scarf, but it's fine. I can get up Rocks again. They don't really switch in very well to this Pokemon, and Clefable isn't the biggest of threats, considering how good my Togekiss is versus them. And they're going for uh, the combine though, so we're definitely gonna thunder wave them. That is for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. And we're gonna see just how much we can do to this guy. Basically, I flinch it to death. Uh, the plan is to do this, bullet punch it, and use my um, use my Magmortar to knock him out with overheat. So I'm assuming right there they they moon uh, they moonlight and maybe they flamethrower, which would have been a fantastic play, but whatever. Yeah, they flamethrower me, they knock me out. However, that should be in range of Specs Magmortar. So we're just going to click the Specs Overheat now and KO them. Yep, beautiful. Uh, again, I should be good versus these guys via the combination of these guys. And Magmortar is just so strong. In fact, breaking this thing's sash might even be worth it. But 
I think we go Togekiss. As they focus blast immediately. I've already thrown off a Thunder Wave, but... I'm Air Slash anyway. I'm breaking a potential Sash. I actually end up getting a crit on Gliscor, which means that I can knock them out there with that. And now if they go Scizor, no matter what play they make here, I just go Magmortar, because if they Bullet Punch, I'm good. Obviously, I do a Flamethrower too. If they U-turn, uh, I just get a free, and I get the burn on Scissor, so that should be game. That should be game. We're going to go for the nice and safe Flamethrower here. With Scissor being burnt, he'll never be able to beat Toekiss. Toekiss cannot be beaten, period, in this game. They never Draco. If they Psychic, that's fine. That gives me Weavile. Yep. That's a free Weavile. Honestly, think that if I SD up, I win the game, so... Because they can't kill me with Scizor. And I win the game with Togekiss plus uh, that. Also, if they're special defensive, yeah, like, they're burnt. So, like, Mortar really did his job there, and then it just died to Ice Shard. That should be game. Like I said, that should definitely be game. Because we just Ice Shard here, knock out Scizor. Alakazam comes out. I Ice Shard the Latios. Zam is Life Orb as well. So, that's game. Yeah, so, I mean, Magmortar cooked... The Tentacruel, I mean, excuse me, it cooked the, uh, the Clefable, it basically made Scizor not be able to, I'll uh, say, where do they disconnect? I don't see them. It cooked the, the, the Clefable, even that with plus two boost. It made Scizor not be able to do its thing, and yeah, it let my Weavile be able to win. So I think that's a really strong first game for my Magmortar. I got my booster shot today, did I say that? Yeah, I don't care about my real life, but I got my booster shot today. So I'm going to be drinking water in the middle of this. Uh, video. Hopefully it'll be. Maybe I'll put myself on mute real quick. Let me know. Let me let me let me gulp down this water real quick. One. Delicious. Oh, the essence of life. You love to see it. But yeah, basically, uh, Scissor couldn't knock me out with anything. At that point, even if they were Sash Zam, I was very confident. Oh, Sash Zam doesn't even knock out Magmortar for one. And over he picks up a KO on Latios, Alakazam, and Scizor. So even if they were Sash Zam, I thought I would be pretty good there. So. Nice, good first game to start off. Did I put the volume? Okay, <laughs> I thought I muted myself again. <laughs> good first game to start it off. Um, sick team, love how fast my Magmortar is. Unfortunately, it is just slower than Heracross. But still, pretty sick team. I'm liking Tentacruel again for basically the same thing, just being able to knock off these guys. Um, Weavile looks fantastic here, though they do have, obviously, Scizor, but overheats are just so strong, which is why I like Tentacruel just to knock off Immediately, like I said, knocking off Gliscor, uh, knocking off Rotom is big too. We're going to knock this off, especially if there's Scarf and they end up Volt Switching. I wish there was T-Spike on Tentacle. That'd be really nice here too. They're not Scarf, which means that the Flamethrowers and stuff are going to be hitting them for quite a bit. And I'll just throw off a Sludge Bomb again just to get some damage off on the Rotom so my Flamethrowers can 2-it KO it. Yeah, so Specs Flamethrower would definitely 2-it KO them now. I'm assuming the Heracross comes out now. <laughs> <laughs> to claim one on me. Oh, they end up going Gliscor. Which I think is relatively safe. I, I could I could say that's that's definitely relatively safe. Um Turns out how I want to deal with Gliscor. They don't deal with Scizor defogging very well. And if they U-turn, that's fine too. Yeah. I just tank this hit. Uh roost up just to be safe. But yeah, they don't deal with the overheats very well. BP just in case they want to U-turn, because then I'll keep it in overheat range. Hey man, don't be doing that much damage to me. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> hey man, <laughs> why are you double critty? Alright, we're just gonna U turn. Fine. Fine, dude, if you really, really, really want me to bring out my Weavile, for sure. Uh, so we go Weavile here. I'm gonna double to Magmortar. If they predict this, excellent play on my opponent's part. But I think it's a little early and this mod's important. Yep, and now we click the Specs Overheat. If that's physically defensive Gliscor, it gets cooked by this too. Rotom gets to a KO. Hey, Rotom took some big damage. You love to see it. Uh, I'm just going to go for another one. Knock out the Rotom. Beautiful. So, one of the fire resists on their team gone. You love to see it. And that's why I played my Tentacle the way I did. My scissor is low on HP though, which is sad. Very sad. Maybe they're unaware Clef. Yo, sh if they go Clef, should I just stay in and click Overheat and see what happens? 
I think the play is to go Tentacle and then knock them off and do what I did before. So rapid spin here. Let him be faster. As they end up going Scizor. Kind of like the idea of just getting rid of the leftovers so that way my uh, Weavile can 2-hit KO them later. Obviously Gliscor can come out. Unless it gets two crits on my Scizor, I should be good. Starmie comes out though. Hmm. How do I want to deal with this? Kind of want to get rid of their potential life orb too. Or specs. Holy crap. Yeah, I wanted to get rid of that. Yeah, we did. And we'll just sludge bomb for chip because I mean, that's awesome. That's so awesome. And they're surf too, so they can never knock out my, uh, they can never knock out my scissor. So that's great. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Like legitimately amazing. Like that star me being that, that low as well. And overheat still cooks something. Unfortunately, I am faster than them. However, I assume that they U-turn here so I can bring out Tohokus. They obviously didn't BP. I get back. Heracross cannot kill me and I can knock that thing out. Starmie can't KO me either. Clefable comes out with Thunder Wave it. Oh, that's fine. I mean, they don't have Air, <laughs> they don't have air Slash switching, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and I take, I take way too little from that. And they can't kill me with anything, so we get rid of Scizor, which is amazing for Weavile. Again, we're opening up that Weavile endgame. They cannot KO me with Starmie at all. And Heracross is more than likely... This can't beat me. Sorry, buddy. They're going for Paras and everything. I might as well slow them down, too, for my Magmortar. Oh, they did paralyze me. I'll roost here just to be safe. The acro. So we can defog away these hazards. And again, this is just a Pokemon they don't really deal with very well. Uh, if I get up rock, Starmie's basically gone too. I'll uh, U-turn here into my uh, my Specs Magmortar. I think I just click Specs Flamethrower to be safe. It'll 2 KO Glide score. It 2 KO's Clef. Overheat would have cooked them. And they get fully paralyzed, so they don't have a chance to Thunder Wave me. I'm sorry, dude. So great, we get rid of that. Magmortar just doing some insane work in this tier. Starmie goes down. At this point I could just... No, if, they're, if they actually are Scarf Heracross, I have Outrage. What am I saying? Mm, I think I just sacked this. I knew you'd live. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to die and look stupid, but I knew Magmortar would live. I mean, I don't care about looking stupid, but I just didn't want to die, right? But I knew you'd live! Hell yeah! Oh, I got 70! Magmora just going crazy, bro! Magmora going crazy, bro! Easy. Easy Ice Shark. Heracross, just go for Ice Shard. If it's Scarf, it cannot lock itself in any... I mean, I have Outrage to knock it out after, so... Yeah, that didn't matter. I have like a million, and they're, and they're that too, so they knew they died. Yo, Magmortar went absolutely insane in this game, bro. Rotom dead, Starmie dead, Clefable dead, basically Gliscor dead. The Scissor get burnt by it? I don't remember, that was the last game. I don't know, Magmortar went crazy in that game, though. Magmortar went actually crazy. Also, big shout out to Scarzig, if you don't know who that is. That's the dude who's making all the thumbnails. Awesome dude. Legitimately amazing. Like, I love Pedro, and Pedro was great, and I'm so happy that he left me in some good hands. And Skarzig is amazing, too. So they're just, like, I'm very, 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 very lucky. I'm very lucky to have good people in my life. And that they carry some awesome art, man. Like, I love, I'm, and I'm loving, I'm loving how Magmortar, I knew Specs Magmortar was going to go crazy. I knew it would. It, it has all the tools to do it, right? It has fire moves. And that's basically... Why is Magma Storm Heatran so annoying? Because everything that resists fire takes so much. Now, granted, that's a trapping move. And I do wish that Magma Storm was on more Pokemon. Like, I would love Magmortar to get Magma. <gasps> yeah! I'm killing something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess. I guess, like, a racist white woman. <laughs> 
Oh, Puka Sai right there. Oh, man. But, dude, I saw Sun and I was like, yes. It's time. Give me food. No thinking. Just click overheat. It's specs. It's in the sun. They do have Tropius, which is a threat. Uh, I'm sure it still has Dragon Dance, but... Ooh, only 94%. Come on, man. That's fine, though. Let me go ahead and... Uh... Oh, sorry, dude. You're going to take like 60% from this. <laughs> Head calcs on point or what? Head calcs on point or what? Torterra could Dragon Dance... Uh, excuse me, Rock Posh and be scary. Don't want you to take this. Okay, I would rather this thing get hit. This uh, bronze on learns weather ball if it is, and no. Oh, they're life orb. Perfect. So I can actually get up rocks and get rid of Torkoal, um, potentially here. If they go bronze on, that's fine too. Yeah, so we get rid of Torkoal, and Infernape dies to the uh, combination of life orb and the skin. Sick. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I can wrap it's been here, and then I think I click flamethrower on all the above and and win. They do have chlorophyll, but they should not be able to kill me with any hit. They definitely should not be able to kill me after that. And I just, like I said, I'm just going to be clicking flamethrower in the end and knocking out every Pokemon they have, so. I don't even know if they kill me here. Yeah. If they were an earthquake. That did nothing. That is very unfortunate. Oh, the citrus berry. So it's guaranteed in harvest. It's, it's guaranteed harvest and... Uh, well, it's not harvest. What am I even saying? Ooh! Unfortunately for you, I am going to win this exchange. Because, my friend, I clicked Sludge Bomb twice. Doesn't matter if they flinch me here. Sun is done. It is the end. And then Magmortar just gets to click Flamethrower and kills everything. Let's go! Let's go! I'm sad Torkoal took... The hit. Just knock them off just in case they're choice scarf. Let myself die. They're specs. That's whatever. Perfect. And now I get to click spec flamethrower. Ain't no way you heat proof, bro. Now specs flamethrower just gets to come in and do his ting. Sorry, buddy. I'm in. Flamethrower. That's fine, I'm taking all of them, unless you're Scarf Torterra. That would be such a crazy Scarfer to see. Yep, they knew it. I'm chopping that off as three kills. Look, look, look. That's technically a kill by Meg Mortar. That's technically another kill by Meg Mortar. And that's three more. So, I know a lot of people like to do stats on everything. You got, come on, that's three kills. That's three kills more. How dare you deny my Meg Mortar or more kills? Oh, I got way too excited in this game. I got way too excited in this game. I already know the next game, I'm... I'm I'm feeling it. I'm getting lost in the sauce. I gotta find my way back. Pokemon Shadow. I got I gotta find my way back. I'm having I'm having too much fun with the mag, bro. The mag is putting in some work, bro. He's strapped up. That's it. That's it. Oh, I forgot to meet myself while drinking water. I apologize. I'm about to drink water, so I'm gonna meet myself in three, two, one. You know, ever since I got this booster, the girls just they, they don't stay away. But I'm married, so it don't matter. <laughs> so, <laughs> me casually, casually promoting. <laughs> um, what did I want to say? Shuka is always annoying. Oh, Shuka Berry. I guess I'll pop. Where are we on the ladder? Let me see where we are. Because this is this is actually Envy's all. He doesn't use it anymore. I've been using it, uh, just to like test teams, and then I didn't actually get to test his team, unfortunately. I didn't actually get to test this team, unfortunately. Um, and I want to do this because I, I have no idea how this booster is going to hit me. Oh, I didn't get any... Hello? Is it not? Is that it? Really? Why is it not here? Did I put Gen AOU? I'm not in top 500 this account? What the hell? That makes no sense. I... It says 1645. Whatever. Um. Very similarly, I like Tentacruel in these type of games. It can live a hit from all these guys. And obviously, knocking off Rotom is good. If it's Scarf Rotom, we get to know it's Scarf Rotom. Uh, but, like, knockoff is just a good move, period. I really hope that's not Stone Edge Garchomp or Iron Head or Poison Jab or whatever. Uh, Weavile looks pretty good here just for cleaning up. It is Scarf Rotom or uh, it's Specs Rotom Max Speed. <sighs> that, that, that is a little bit scary for me. 
It's a little bit scary for me. Uh, them going Scizor, they just put themselves, because they let me knock them, and they're not even physically offensive, they're special defensive. Yeah, they just put themselves in range of Weavile, so that's amazing. That's actually amazing. Um, so that gets smashed by Weavile. They do have this. I could easily go Garchomp, but I'm assuming they might predict that. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb as they do go for Hydro Pump. I think I actually lived, I think I actually lived that board, or maybe I lived the next one. But we're just gonna go for another slot. Oh, I'm so sorry. This guy about a forfeit, bro. I, especially because I'm gonna poison them in this next one. You know what? Let's rapid spin. That way we're faster than 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 wrote him the next time it wants to come out. Yeah, my opponent was like, yo, let me try to do that again. I'm really unfortunate. I don't know if they knocked me out. Specs Hydro Pump still hits really hard. Doesn't matter if they roost and then you turn after. They decided not to roost, which I think is the wrong play, because now we've all hella beats them down. Um, I am faster than you, dude. Yeah, so, I mean, Tentacruel, this is why I love Tentacruel, especially in these type of games. I feel bad. Like, not that bad, but I feel a little bad, you know? I feel bad, though. Let's see where we are. Come on, man. Yeah, let's say, I'm number 115. Why wasn't it showing up before? So that's cool. That's cool. Magmortar. Magmortar didn't get to come out in that game, but it was. Uh, I don't know about this game, though. This is more of a Weavile game, for sure. <laughs> This is actually a very threatening game. Manaphy is a problem. We can weaken them. Actually, Scarf Garchomp looks really nice because Earthquake is amazing here. Again, I see a lot of threats. I like to lead you. Gonna make the Togekiss play. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Um, if they have Stone Edge, so be it. But otherwise, it hits Gar uh, Gengar, which is the mod I'm kind of aiming for. Okay, they can't touch me, so I'm gonna get this Thunder Wave off, which is nice. This is probably a Combine variant, right? Gonna knock off there. Yep, I knew it. It's a hella annoying variant, bro. But every bit of damage on this is gonna help me out. I get the poison, which doesn't matter at all. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. So knockoff did 15. Let's let's use our let's let's use our detective skills right here. Detective skills. Yeah. Possibly the worst move ever. Oh, leftovers. So they're not max HP. They're not max HP. They're at 50%. I feel like that's still out of range of a Garchomp. 47 to 56% kind of like that roll. Revile is also really good to go here if it can kill with Throat Chop. 47, 56%. Both of them are so good in this endgame, but I think it's I think it's the Garchomp play. Did some big damage. Okay. They wish there. I'm gonna throw off an overheat as Garchomp comes out. Little bit unfortunate, but we can air slash immediately as Clef comes hard out on the air slash, which is great. I mean, like, yeah, we'll take that. We'll hella take that. Especially, I know I'm not going to get it because I get the, yep. Okay. This is going to be annoying. Uh, if I get a rock, Clef probably dies, but I think Earthquake is just best. Surf will probably KO me, but... Oh, they only have Ice Beam. Okay, awesome, awesome. Not the end of the world. They don't have Rest, so it's not the end of the world. I do have a Weavile, which still goes crazy, and I can Defog. And Clefable's gone, so it means they can't pass to it, which is nice. Scizor and they, what, they Shadow Ball with Gengar? Gonna Thunder Wave again. Gonna Thunder Wave again. If possible. I need a Defog that's away. If possible, right? <laughs> if possible. Come on, dude. So now they can just go Gengar. Uh, 
that up. Nice. Get rid of this threat. Okay, even if they rain dance here, I'm so weak to Garchomp now and Scizor. I have to go out their full para. I know they're gonna go for rain dance here, but I have to go out their full para. Yeah. Yeah, that burn man hurts. So they can go Gengar now. Or Weavile. Weavile's safe. Eh, is Weavile safe? I don't think this KOs me. Yep. Yeah. So we go you. I have a shot of winning this game. I have a shot. I definitely have a shot, yeah. For sure. For sure. I just hit this thing. And I bring out you. Double the Magmortar. Click Flamethrower and knock them out. Ah! I need a Togekiss to come through. Not be burnt, or to not be like... Because if I'm not burnt, I can Roost on Gengar. Because they would just sack this and then double back to Garchomp, right? Okay, maybe that's defensive Garchomp, considering how little it took. If Flamethrower burns them, can I win? Or they choke by going Scizor into Weavile. Damn, man, that burn hurt. But also stopping, like, the Wish from Clef would have been cool. But that's, like, 60%, so that's whatever. Ah, what's close? What's close? What are you doing? Garchomp and click Earthquake. Come on. What's going on? Oh, they're, they're, they're searching me up like Joey. It's <laughs> about to come out. I don't get what's happening here. You bring out, you bring out Garchomp and you click Earthquake and you win. Even if it's zero attack invested Garchomp, Earthquake still kills me. <laughs> Yep. Alright, yeah, that's over. Um, yeah, so had I flinched Clefable, then maybe I had a shot. It's crazy, because I think I paralyzed him too. Maybe I didn't. Good game. So unfortunately, we lose that one. It's cool. I think certain things could have gone our way for sure. I think if they didn't Fire Blast burn my Togekiss, I could roost on Gengar always, because I knew they had to go for Shadow Ball there. And so I could roost on Gengar always. Ooh, this one's going to be interesting. Flying spam. Magmortar is good for, like, these guys, but also bad for them at the same time. It's hard to, hard to say. Hmm. I think we go Tentacruel and just Rapid Spin immediately. They don't knock me out with Psychic unless there's a Headbutt. They won't knock me out immediately. Yep. So now I make sure that I am faster than them. And now we can go for knockoff as Jirachi comes out, <laughs> as it was Choice Scarf. Maybe they U-turn here. Let me just scald. Because I don't want what I don't want to happen is I don't want to go out yet. Yeah, I don't want to go out into my mortar as they go for that. Exactly. This guy actually is completely useless in this game. So I would rather weaken this just in case it's Yachi. Or burn it. Get some big damage. Thunder Wave as they go Jirachi. I like the idea of going Magmortar because it claims a kill if they get fully paralyzed. Or they go for Meteor Mesh, so I get to click Flamethrower now. Flamethrower is safe. Let's pick up that KO there. They go Azelf and that dies too. So we KO this too. They go Staraptor and they claim a Pokemon. Uh, this is slower than Toxic Rogue, so this is worth sacking here. Also, Outrage basically wins. Oh my god, Magmortar said, nah, bro. I'm gonna leave them with a little bit of a present right now. Let's go this in Defog. 
And thankfully, I'm fitting the defensive scissor because that was banded Star Raptor. That would have done 80 something percent. Holy crap. It's Roost here as Toxico comes out. Now you turn. Bring out you. Click Outrage because it's a guaranteed kill. Like, basically, I want Garchomp to die. Maybe that's a choke, actually, because the, the Toxico could have Gunk Shot. Oh, they go they go start out there first, which I guess was Scarf and not Bandit. Damn, they just did a million. No, they have to SD up with Toxicroak to win, so. And they Dragon Dance instead, which is great. I'm just gonna sack this. And I believe I just go out to you, click Outrage again. And then their last is that Toxicroak, which gets smashed by this mod. And the games I win, though, I'm definitely hella lucky. <laughs> like, the, with Burns, the, but I mean, like, I'm glad this mod's getting Flame Body because I remember, I remember using Flame Body Heatran, and it did not do anything. I feel like every every Flame Body kill has been a, is just a kill. Like every Flame Body attack has just been a kill. But overall, uh, that was really fun. I had a lot of fun with Magmortar there. I hope you guys all enjoyed some High Ladder with Magmortar. Of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know what the hell I'm using, but I'll see you guys in that next video. That's all I know. <laughs> Leave a like, sub. I'll see ya. Peace.